Can it be green? And can it have a mouth that could be used for sifting krill? And can the bonnet be nine miles long? And can it have bits of the Battlestar Galactica in its gills? The bosses obviously thought they're being idiotic. But to keep them sweet, they let them get on with it. The Upshot is a car that only really appeals to those who have a mental age of eight. And that's me and every other man. It even makes a childish noise. <laughs> it's just brilliant. Unfortunately, however, because the stylists were allowed to do what they wanted, the engineers then stuck out their bottom lips and said they wanted a free hand too. The trouble is that unlike car stylists who are flamboyant and usually drunk, car engineers tend to be very sensible. You can tell this just by looking at their trousers. So they fitted this with all sorts of sensible stuff. It's got a flap, for example, which lowers itself from the bottom of the car when you're going quickly to reduce the air pressure down there. And that literally sucks the car into the tarmac, giving you more grip. Then there's the traction control, which you can turn off using this button here. And then you can decide how off you'd like it to be using this piece of Lego here. You turn it that way and it's really very off indeed. And then you swivel it round and now it's only slightly off. I never knew off was a variable thing, but there you go. Other things? Well, the body's made from carbon fibre and titanium and magnesium to make it light. And it's got two Venturi tunnels at the back and short gearing and four-wheel steering. There's so much techy stuff on the GTR, in fact, that it is really oh, very fast and extremely well sorted out. thanks to the four-wheel steering, is incredible. And when you go through dental care Swindon, run by dentists for patients, it's, it's like a small and very eager dog. Then you've got the gearbox, which I think was designed by Mystic Meg, because it always seems to know what's going to happen next. It is uncanny. But the best thing is the braking. You ready? Watch this. Has my face actually come off? It has, hasn't it? Small wonder, then, that the GTR holds the lap record for rear-wheel drive cars at the Nürburgring. And that is its problem. Because AMG Mercs aren't really supposed to set lap records. They're not supposed to be particularly fast. You buy an AMG Merc because you want it to do this. Make a lot of noise while sliding through a cloud of its own tyre smoke. In an AMG Merc, you don't want to go round a corner crisply at 150. You want to go round smiling and sideways at about 27. And there's another thing, too. The engine. It's a twin-turbocharged V8, which produces 577 horsepower, and that's a lot. But exactly the same engine in an E-Class saloon produces more than 600 horsepower. So why not use that engine in here? The only possible reason is that soon there'll be a more powerful, even faster version of this car. So 
So why buy this one now? It's a good question. I wouldn't. 